This is a three-day backpacking trip in the Guadalupe Mountains in southeastern New Mexico. This trip was many months in the making. It started out with fellow YouTuber, Chuco Hiker, and I trying to plan a joint trip in southern New Mexico. Eventually, we settled on a lollipop loop, with Chuco and I being joined by my dad and another fellow YouTuber, Cameron from Ultralight Outdoors, plus his son, Caden. Despite the low mileage, we were met with the warm welcome one would typically expect from the Guads. Gale force winds, overgrown briar ridden trails, and innumerable rocks. However, this trip also featured lush oases, waterfalls, and beautiful canyon views that really kept spirits high. I'm grateful to have met Chuko and Cameron, and I'll attest that they are as awesome people in real life as they are in their videos. Please enjoy the video. My dad and I made the five hour drive from Santa Fe to Pat's Lake near Queen, New Mexico. Though there's a beauty to New Mexico's southeastern plains, it's not the kind to stimulate such a long drive. We were happy to be in the mountains. Cameron and Caden arrived, and my dad and I treated ourselves to a dinner of Spam Tacos. Chuko would be joining us in the morning before we took off. This would be the coldest night of the trip, with lows in the mid-twenties and a high wind warning to boot. Hearty breakfast, we were headed north on the Sitting Bull Falls Trail. A brief conversation with a hunter at Pat's Lake reminded me why we brought our hunter's orange, though the deer I'd seen the night prior would be the only wildlife we'd see the entire trip.
Seriously, bro. Sitting Bull was a Lakota leader immortalized by his role in the history of the American West, including the Battle of the Little Bighorn. However, his home was in and around present-day South Dakota, over 1,100 miles by car from Sitting Bull Falls. This area was instead frequented by the Apache, who named it Gustahanagunti, or Hidden Gulch. Any connection to Sitting Bull is of course apocryphal, and the real name seems to stem from something of a dare among friends. natural amphitheater oasis became its downfall overnight. The elbow shape of the canyon funneled roaring winds that threatened to collapse our tents, and the solid slabs of rock we were perched on meant that none of us were properly anchored. We eschewed our overlooked camping plan made for Sitting Bull Spring instead.
switch back here. Guadalupe Mountains in New Mexico are far less famous than the span in Texas, which is home to the eponymous National Park and the Lone Star State's highest peak. Last Chance Canyon belongs to the Lincoln National Forest portion of the range and finds renown from its relatively abundant water and the otherwise arid landscape. Local legend has it that several ranchers, including Charlie Slaughter, retrieved stolen cattle, and Slaughter noted that this canyon would be the posse's last chance for water before heading home. After a surprisingly calm and pleasant night lit by the full moon, we climbed out of Sitting Bull Canyon and headed back to the trailhead.